Welcome back to my channel and in this video I'm going to show you how I have a bench plate in the brake master cylinder for this uh, 1971 Volkswagen Super Beetle. And this process is the same for any make or model, I think. And so if you have uh, different cars that you need to replace the brake master cylinder and you need to bench plate it, uh, this is how you can do it. And in this video I'll show you the setup. Um, the process of it every step of the way and I uh, hope you guys like it so if you find this video useful uh, please leave a like subscribe to the channel and have uh, quite a few more videos coming up now that I have found some of the lost footage or what I thought was lost footage and I hope you guys enjoy this video find it helpful and I'll see you guys soon so in this video I'm going to make my first attempt of Bleeding a uh, brake mass cylinder uh, for my, which will go into my 1971 Volkswagen Super Beetle, and uh, this is the setup I have here. And basically, uh, what I have here is uh, I'm using a table vise, uh, which uh, is holding the mass cylinder in place. Uh, the whole point of this is to have the uh, mass cylinder leveled to the ground. Uh, which helps the process and make sure uh, when you're bleeding the cylinder there is no air inside so it's all leveled and uh, it should, it's supposed to work you know better that way so what I have here I this cylinder usually comes with a kit and it did come with a kit uh, the uh, the uh, bleeding kit for the cylinder it came with these um, hoses here it came with these little attachments they go into the mass cylinder, which I'll tell you in a little bit about. And but some of them actually come with the reservoir on top, which makes the whole process much easier. But this reservoir, the brake fluid reservoir, is from my car that I took out. Um, I, think I had to take it out anyways because it was dirty on the inside, uh, outside, so I had to clean it up a little bit. And these hoses uh, also came off the car as well. Um, I just removed it. I just removed the reservoir with these hoses here, which actually uh, will come in handy when doing this uh, uh, this uh, bleeding process of the cylinder. And uh, so what I did, I attached these hoses here uh, to these little two, uh, uh, I'm not sure what these are called, but these two ports uh, that where the brake fluid reservoir, uh, I'm sorry, where the brake fluid goes into the cylinder and then it's pumped out uh, through the lines into the brakes. But in this um, case, we're going to just um, sort of cycle this uh, fluid by pushing, uh, by using a screwdriver to push in this hole here. And as we're uh, you know, pushing it, which basically means pumping the brakes um, in the car, the fluid uh, is supposed to go from, from here back to the reservoir and all over again. And we're doing this process until there are no air bubbles uh, coming out through these lines, through these clear lines. And uh, once that's done, that means that uh, the mass cylinder is just full of uh, brake fluid and there's no air, air inside, uh, which helps with, uh, you know, uh, with braking and make sure, make sure that the brakes work properly. So uh, I'm going to go ahead um, and attempt this my first time when I had some brake fluid. But before I start, I want to uh, mention something about uh, the kit that came with this mass cylinder, which uh, consists of these uh, two clear uh, hoses, plastic hoses, and uh, these attachments here. Let me if I can zoom in the camera a little bit better. guys can see that so here uh, these are actually this is part of the kit that came these are uh, little gray uh, plastic bolts uh, and these fittings right here which is like um, I'm not sure what these are called basically uh, the lines are supposed to attach to this and this black part this plastic little fitting is supposed to go directly into the cylinder at least that's actually what was uh, described uh, in the instruction manual that came with the cylinder when I bought it, 
at uh, AutoZone. And uh, these fittings right here, these black plastic fittings, um, didn't fit into the cylinder. I'm not sure how they're supposed to stay secured. Uh, I mean, there's no way to attach them. So, and uh, these also came uh, with a kit, these are gray plastic bolts. And the whole purpose of these was to, if you have any uh, extra holes on the cylinder to plug them, uh, you know, if you don't need to bleed that side or whatever uh, it's supposed to be for. So these gray uh, bolts, they, uh, they're actually hollow where the thread is from here, actually all the way th through the middle, they're hollow. Uh, except at the top of this, uh, this bolt, it's solid. So what I did, uh, I drilled a hole through this gray uh, plastic bolt and then I fitted this plastic thing uh, inside. And I, I drove it, I actually I, I pushed it inside until it came to the end of the bolt, this plastic bolt on this side right here. And that way uh, it's connected directly to the cylinder, to the port here in the cylinder. Uh, it's like a tiny hole. And uh, so that way when I'm pumping the fluid uh, from the cylinder through these lines, it's going directly through here and there's like no, um, there's like no, I guess, gap uh, for the brake fluid to go anywhere else. And um, so if this doesn't work, this is all kind of like a makeshift uh, improvised on the go kind of thing uh, it should work but if it doesn't work I have a plan B and uh, that plan is to use the old uh, brake lines which uh, went here so I have a brake line right here old brake line that I saved and uh, what I'm going to do uh, if this doesn't work is I'm going to actually use this uh, tube cutting tool which is used for brake lines and I'm going to basically I cut a little piece of it just to show you what it looks what's the I cut a little piece of this just to show you what the process is like so basically you put this line through here and you tighten this uh, uh, around the brake line this little like a knob and then what you do actually is just go around just to go around like this uh, this actually not well maybe it'll work and as you're doing this you'll feel it'll, it'll get a little easier to push the sorry let's try this again so as you move, twist it around you tighten as much as you can by hand and then you This is the reason why it's harder because of this uh, line is curved a little bit. So basically you cut it like this and then once it gets, uh, then you actually tighten this again a little bit. As you tighten this, you know there's like a blade that goes uh, through the line and basically you're cutting the line around it. So this is what kind of looks like, and it's pretty easy. And just until it snaps off, then you're done. I think it's there. We go. Came off, and it's a really clean cut. I'm not sure if you guys can see this on the camera. Yeah, it's a little, a little blurry. Sorry, guys. But that's the what I will do if uh, the pen doesn't work. So. Okay, let's get uh, to this and start bleeding the cylinder and uh, we'll see how this goes. Okay, so we're going to uh, basically use a screwdriver right here. It's a Phillips, Phillips screwdriver. You can use any kind of pointy object that will fit inside. So you can actually press the master, master cylinder and uh, basically cycle the brake fluid inside and the whole goal is actually to remove any eliminate any uh, bubbles um, in the any air bubbles in the master cylinder 
and how we can detect that is actually just by looking at these clear uh, plastic lines, hoses, and make sure there's, there are no air bubbles inside. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna put some gloves on, uh, just so we don't create any mess. And the only thing I'm concerned about now is, uh, so far, is that this, I'm wondering if this will, I'm wondering if this will leak, uh, this connector is right here. Because I kind of had to like uh, fabricate them a little bit so that they actually fit and hopefully, again, they won't leak. So let's go ahead and add some brake fluid here. Okay, so let's see how this works. slowly see if anything happens here so we see something coming there okay uh, so far it's not leaking so I'm gonna go ahead and fill up the reservoir here, brake fluid. Let's try it again. I want to make sure this. Uh... Oh, it's leaking. Oh. That's not good. Let's see what happens here. I wonder where it's leaking from. I think this hose right here uh, is where it's leaking. Uh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Let's see what I can do here so far. See if I can still do the job. I'll press slowly. Thank you. 
you can see the bubbles here. Looks like this may work. Uh, I will just make a mess here because the brake fluid is leaking. I'm gonna hold it pressed until, until all the bubbles come up and then I'm going to depress again and go again. Depress again. It's a bit of a boring process, but I guess it's got to be done. I just want to make sure my works pr work properly before installing it. Okay. So there's less and less bubbles. So let's go ahead.
these plastic adapters do seem to work fine so I didn't have to actually use this um, pull the ends of the brake line or the old line so uh, this works fine just this hose here seems to leak so I need to replace this anyways I think um, Harder than it looks. Yeah, this uh, cylinder, brake cylinder that I bought from uh, AutoZone, I mean, it came with a, uh, a bleeding kit, but it's not good. I feel, I feel like there's actually some parts missing, so it, it wasn't very sufficient. Um, so I think that's why I'm having a lot of problem, uh, in addition to the to the to this. Um, Braided hose that's leaking. So let's try again now. I feel like I'm not doing something correctly.
I'm getting closer to removing all the bubbles, but let's yeah, see more. The hardest part is actually pushing the master cylinder because it's you have to hold in place. Also push it slowly and also depress it slowly. But I feel like I'm it's getting better. And I mean I'm getting closer to beating it, I guess. I'm sweating. <laughs> Looks like it's working. There are less and less of those bubbles are getting smaller and smaller. It's not bad for my first time. Um, let's see how this ends. Noticing some of the bubbles are going back when I'm depressing, but overall, uh, 
uh, there are less and less bubbles, which is a good thing, I think. So let's keep going. Hopefully, we won't see, we won't see any more bubbles soon. This may take a while. <laughs> and also, the brake fluid is leaking, so I'm actually have to open another bottle of the brake fluid to get this done. I think I'll need to get some more brake fluid. Try this a few more times, then I'll see if I need more brake fluid. Okay, so, so far it looks, uh, there are no bubbles, and I want to do maybe several more times when I pump the master cylinder, and just try to get as many of those bubbles as possible, if there are any left. So I see no bubbles so far, maybe very tiny ones, but this should be a problem.
All right, no bubbles. Well, the step is completed, so now I'm going to, next step is to remove this uh, the bleeding test kit and plug these holes, oops, and then um, get ready to install it on the car. And then I have some uh, front uh, brake steel lines to replace and a couple of brake hoses and uh, we'll be good. And I'll see if I can maybe find a replacement for these. Well, these are actually pretty old. I don't think they've been replaced since the car was bought new in 71, which is very impressive, you know, for a 50 year old car. But I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up, you know, um, plug these two holes and then try to install it on the car. Okay, so now that I've finished bleeding the system, I guess the next uh, part is actually to remove these fittings. And then I have these um, plastic um, bolts they just plug here and um, uh, basically avoid any of the brake fluid coming out and I'm wondering when I'm removing these whether it will kind of ruin the whole process if I let some of this brake fluid come out of the cylinder I think it should be fine because how else am I supposed to you know, remove these. So, so I'll try to do this really fast if I can. Let's see. I guess, some of it, I guess some of it is supposed to leak out, but this one is done. I tighten a little bit. So, this out. Okay, so that went pretty well. Um, I'm gonna do the same thing to here, to this side. It went pretty smooth so far. I actually thought about ordering a new set of these um, reservoir uh, brake brake reservoir hoses, but uh, I thought I could just reuse these because they seem in good shape. Because uh, before I remove this uh, brake. Uh, reservoir brake uh, reservoir. I, um, you know, they, there wasn't any leak on these uh, on these uh, hoses, even though it was full with fluid. I actually drove the car, you know, with these original parts on the car, and there were no leaks. Um, so maybe I somehow uh, made a cut on one of these hoses. So I'm not sure what happened, but. We'll see. Let's see if maybe if I can. Let's see if maybe I can order uh, some of these hoses online, or hopefully Amazon may have it, which I doubt it. So. Okay. Next part, I'm going to remove these and 
We have these uh, caps that go on top of the, these um, connectors. And uh, I should have two. Or one so far, but it should be fine. So. Close this, so I don't spill any brake fluid on myself. Okay, so I put one cap here that actually uh, came with this master cylinder and I put another one here uh, just so nothing go, gets in the inside and uh, so the next step is to install this into the car 